Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use autocomplete properties with your combo box and text boxes. So let's get started. I will take a combo box from my toolbox and I will take a text box from my toolbox. And what I will do is first of all, I will select my text box and I will go to the property explorer here and I will search for the property called autocomplete custom source, uh, autocomplete mode and autocomplete source. So let's uh, give a custom source to the uh, text box first. So what I will do is I will select this property called autocomplete custom mode and here I will click the small button and here I can add custom source for example list of names. So I will add some names here and ok so I have included four names here and I will click ok and then what I need to do is I need to select what mode I want to choose. There are three modes suggest, append and suggest append both at the same time. First of all I will select this suggest mode here and in the third property I need to select what is the source type of my autocomplete. So I will select custom source because I have selected custom source from here right so select this custom source and when I run the program and when I enter some word or letter here it will show me the suggestions here right and this concept you can utilize for example I want to show the list of the countries and I want to see the suggestions okay so we have selected custom uh, com autocomplete mode as suggest and append what it will do is it will not show the suggestion but it will append the name so for example I write M here it will append all the other words or all the other letters of the name here right and it will not show any suggestions and when I choose suggestion and append it will append and suggest, suggest both. Now for example on a bigger application for example I want to show or and see the list of the countries as a custom source. So what I will do is I have the list of the countries which you can uh, take it from the internet for free and I will copy this and I will paste it in my custom source block okay and this these name I need to remove and I'll click OK. And in here I have once again suggest append so it will append and suggest at the same time and here I will say I want to search for um, let's see what is what country we want to search Germany so it's when I just entered GE and it will su suggest me all the suggestion with uh, the letter GE and I have two options and it also appends the first suggestion in my text box and for example I write A I get all the suggestions and first it will append the first suggestion in the text box okay in this way you can use this custom suggestion second thing you can choose from here is the auto complete source as other types for example file system so when I run the program once again it will give me when I enter something it will suggest me the file system right now there is no file system right now and for example I want the all URL uh, complete source or, or yeah autocomplete source so I will select this all URL and when I run the program it 
will append so for example I will write msdn or google then it will all give me all the options which I have recently browsed with the URL Google or Microsoft or whatever suggestion it has to offer. So in this way you can use to suggest URLs also and you can explore all the kind of uh, suggestions from here recently used list or all system source and file system directories and other lists are there and the same thing you can do it for your list box also so you can choose the custom source like that only and just you can select all the modes from here and you can choose all the source from here but one more suggestion or one more source auto complete source option uh, the combo box has is the list item so when you want to bind the database options with your combo box you can do it with this list item but, but right now I haven't shown you how to uh, bind your database with visual basics so I will show this option in the future videos so I hope you have uh, understood how to use autocomplete just play with this property and see what's better for you so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now